Okay, welcome to today's issue of the AKT 30 day challenge. We're nearly there now. These last few days, it's really important to just keep pushing and keep going. We're almost there. So let's start as ever with a high yield question. Here we go. So the correct answer is shown here. Now, this is quite a tricky question because um, some of the risks, were it not family history, but the patient itself, they would be factors that would suggest that you need to do targeted screening by testing with EGFR using the creatinine test. Um, you'd also look at ACR, the albumin creatinine ratio. So let's have a look at uh, what the NICE guidelines say. So what that it says is that it's not worth doing population level screening, but targeted screening from patients who are in at-risk groups is worthwhile. So the kinds of patients that we should be targeting for testing with EGFR, creatinine, uh, would be anyone with diabetes, whether it's type 1 or type 2, anyone with hypertension because they're at high risk, people who've had an acute kidney injury or a history of acute kidney injury, um, established cardiovascular disease, so ischemic heart disease, chronic heart failure, uh, stroke, um, that kind of thing. Obesity, but only if they have metabolic syndrome. Obesity on its own is not one of the criteria. We'll come back to what we shouldn't test for in a minute. Anyone that's had uh, renal stones, as in this question, or structural renal tract disease, or benign prostatic hypertrophy. Um, Multisystem disease, which potentially could have kidney involvement. An example of this would be systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, family history of CKD, but only stage five, i.e. end stage renal disease, you know, patients who are on dialysis or hereditary kidney disease. Um, those taking drugs that are known to be nephrotoxic, classical example would be ACE inhibitors, uh, ACE2 receptor antagonists, uh, cyclosporin, long-term use of NSAIDs, uh, and diuretics, and then lithium is another one just to be cautious on, you know, uh, patients that might be on that for bipolar, for example, they should be tested for CKD. Um, we should also test people who have an incidental finding of either proteinuria or persistent hematuria. So persistent hematuria is defined as having one plus or more of blood on two out of three separate urine dipsticks. And then patients that are incidentally found to have an EGFR of less than 60 milliliters per minute per 1.73 meters squared, you know, you should do a, a, a full screen. So I also get an albumin creatinine ratio so you can look at whether or not they have established CKD and the test should be repeated because you want two separate readings at least three months apart to establish someone as having CKD. What the current guidelines recommend that we do not test is we shouldn't test someone who's got obesity in the absence of metabolic syndrome based on obesity alone. We shouldn't test anyone just because of their age, just because of their gender, and just because of their ethnicity alone, even though they might be from ethnic groups that we know have increased rates of, or incidence of chronic kidney disease, that unless they've got one of the other risk factors that we mentioned, that's not an indication for testing. So I hope this has been useful and do join us again tomorrow for another issue of the AKT 30 Day Challenge. Thank you.